When it comes to Sikorsky, I believe many people are familiar with it. His exploration in the field of helicopters has attracted worldwide attention. However, the world stage cannot be built for him alone. During the same period, there were many other designers competing on the same stage, and Greg S. Duman is one of them. Duman, like Sikorsky, is an early explorer of helicopter technology. He was deeply influenced by Sikorsky's early helicopter propaganda. During World War II, the two became colleagues and researched helicopters together. Duman had unique insights into the aircraft rotor system and solved technical problems with the R-4 helicopter. In the autumn of 1945, Duman left Sikorsky and founded the Duman Helicopter Company, focusing on the development of a non-hinged rotor system, becoming a competitor to Sikorsky. Friends familiar with helicopters should know that the helicopter rotor will be affected by various torques and vibrations during operation. If not handled properly, major accidents such as blade breakage may occur. While designers like Sikorsky tend to use hinged rotor blades, Duman developed a non-hinged universal joint self-lubricating rotor head. Duman initially tested his rotor with a Sikorsky R-6 helicopter, and the test was very successful. The flight of the aircraft became smoother, and he obtained a lot of technical data. He was then able to independently design the LZ-4 helicopter, which was a general-purpose helicopter with eight seats. Later, it was incorporated into the Duman LZ-5 project. The first prototype of the LZ-5 was completed in 1953. The overall layout of the aircraft was relatively conventional, with the front part of the fuselage being a two-person cockpit with a large area of windshield glass. The vision of the pilot and co-pilot was very good. Behind them was the passenger cabin, which could accommodate six passengers or carry four stretchers. Above the passenger cabin was the power system and transmission system. Compared to other helicopters, the power compartment of the LZ-5 appeared smaller because it used a Lycoming GSO-588 cylinder horizontally opposed engine. Some of the engine power passed through the downward sloping tail boom to drive the rear tail rotor, which also used Duman's non-hinged rotor technology. Duman's company produced a total of three prototypes, with the first two for testing by the domestic army and navy, and obtained civil aviation certification in 1955. The third was designed for Canada and also obtained Canadian civil aviation certification. At first glance, the Duman LZ-5 helicopter seemed to have a bright future, with both military and civilian applications poised for successful development. However, reality soon poured cold water on Duman. After testing the LZ-5, the U.S. Army first recognized the performance of the helicopter, then gave a reason for rejection, stating that the U.S. Army no longer needed piston-engine helicopters of the same class. The testing by the Navy also ended without results. Afterward, Duman's company bought back the helicopter tested by the Navy and used it for commercial promotion. Around 1960, it appeared in the European region and sold production rights, but unfortunately, no company has ever gone into production. The Duman LZ-5 helicopter was unfortunate. Simply looking at the aircraft itself, it was not much different from helicopters of the same class in the 1950s. The highlight was its non-hinged rotor technology, but this technology did not significantly improve flight performance compared to mature hinged rotor systems and was considered superfluous. For the military, they already had multiple piston engine helicopters and were more interested in turbine engine helicopters in the mid-1950s to achieve a leap in flight performance. Duman's company once wanted to refit the LZ-5 with a turbine engine and proposed the idea of the LZ-8 helicopter. They also planned to design new aircraft to participate in other military competitions. However, due to a long-term lack of financial support, the company went bankrupt in December 1969. The Duman LZ-5 had an empty weight of 1,315 kilograms, 
a maximum takeoff weight of 2,359 kilograms, a length of 11.53 meters, a height of 3.18 meters, a main rotor diameter of 14.63 meters, a rotor area of 160 square meters, a crew of two, and could carry six passengers or four stretchers, or about 1,200 kilograms of cargo. The maximum flying speed was 167 km per hour, the cruising speed was 159 km per hour, the endurance time was about 3.7 hours, the maximum ceiling was 3,500 meters, and the maximum hover height was 1,200 meters.